Hi, my name is Jeremy Reese, and I'm here at Victory Honda in Muncie, Indiana. And I'm really excited to be able to show you the new 2017 Honda CRV. Now, the CRV is fantastic. It's got a beautiful front end here. They've redesigned it completely. You've got LED daytime running lights, LED headlights on this, the touring trim level. You also have fog lights. You've got this wonderful chrome front end. It has a new shutter system that opens up when you need air into the engine and it shuts when it doesn't in order to be able to give you a better fuel economy as well. Now, this vehicle is equipped with remote start and a power back hatch. Now the remote start, what we do is we lock the doors and then we press and hold the remote start button. That's how we get it started up. Come on this way. You can see these amazing new wheels. Very aggressive, which is a little different than what Honda's done in the past. Being able to give it a real nice aggressive look. You have turn signal indicators right there on the mirror. And I'm going to shut off the remote start here. The remote start would run for 10 minutes and then shut off if you needed it to. But it's also got this smart entry system. The smart entry is fantastic for locking the doors just by pressing the ridge there on the door handle. And then to unlock the doors, all I do is just put my hand right behind the handle and it allows me to open up the door. You've got power windows, power locks. You've also got a memory position seating two different keys, driver one and driver two set up. You've got a 12 way power adjustable seat. It goes front and back, up and down. It also has the back of the seat and a four way, this is brand new for 2017, a four way lumbar support. Now, if you take a look at these beautiful seats, they're very comfortable, well done. They just kind of hug you just right. You've got Honda Sensing, so you've got the lane departure mitigation, which can actually get you back on the road if you happen to drift off. You've got the power back hatch. You've got a mitigated braking system, so if something or someone happens to be in front of you, it'll actually break the wheels. It's got a three-stage system for that. You've also got your lane keep assist. This helps keep you in the actual center of the lane if you're driving and adaptive cruise control. So whatever the speed is of someone in front of you, you no longer have to break the wheels in order to get you to the same speed as they are. No more guessing anymore. It'll actually do all the guesswork for you. You've got automatic headlights and you've got controls here for your audio and your Bluetooth. All really nice right at the touch of your thumb of your finger as you're driving you can answer the phone and one thing that's great is this volume selector here you can click it but you can also just touch it and slide and it allows you to be able to adjust the volume as well now we're going to go ahead and get it started up here and i want to show you the dash as we get it started here it's got a digital display it's got digital read out for your miles per gallon is miles per hour as well and you have several different readouts in this as well you can take a look at your all-wheel drive system that you have but you also have Things like your maintenance, your oil life, your music can show up there, your phone system, your navigation turn-by-turn -turn directions, and your trip computer. You also see there's your temperature outside and your time right there. Now this wonderful display here gives you lots of really great features and lots of information. On this one, the Touring, you have your navigation. 
It's a Garmin based navigation system, all with audio controls, verbal audio controls for you to be able to tell it where to go, tell it what to do. It's also equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you would like to play music from your phone or have it read your text messages to you, reply back or play just Pandora or some sort of music app from your phone, then you can do all that right here on the screen as well. You've also got your phone information if you had a phone connected. And you also have things like your info. You can have uh, your trip computer up here. Or if you wanted to choose your clock wallpaper, you can actually put a photo up here of your family or something of that nature as well. You've got dual climate control. So you can set your temperature exactly as you want it to be. Set your temperature and then your passenger can set their temperature as well if they want it differently than yours. You've got these wonderful heated seats with a much faster reacting heated base system with three step intervals there. And then you also have a volume knob here that allows you to be able to do what you're used to uh, when you're getting your volume set for your audio. You've got an electronic parking brake, which allows for uh, a little more room in the center console area. Uh, you've got a brake hold. The brake hold is fantastic if you are in a traffic jam or maybe in a uh, drive through at a restaurant, then you can allow your brake to hold and allows your leg to rest a little bit from driver fatigue. Now you also have this econ button here, allows you to get a little bit better fuel economy. Now this is equipped with a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine and it gets you 27 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the highway. And then that econ button can actually allow you to get a little bit better yet. Now we've got our awesome backup camera. It's actually got three different views. You turn the wheel and the dynamic guidelines show you where you're going to end up. And that dotted line there shows you how close you can get and still get your hatch open. Three part views. Here's your normal view. You've got a top down view. This is looking down at, your, at the pavement and down at the bumper. And then you've got this nice wide angle view to really see if there's any traffic coming back and forth behind you. Now you'll see right here, this is your cross traffic monitoring system. You can turn it on or turn it off. With it on, if a car was coming back and forth, it would actually show you, it would flash a, uh, an arrow there to show you that there's actually something going on there as well. Now this center console has been very much updated. You've got a center armrest here that actually slides front and back, depending on what's most comfortable for you. You also have this movable and removable center tray which makes it much easier to be able to get things in move things around you have your USB ports two of them down here a 1.5 and a 1.0 this 1.5 is actually the one that you'll use for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto along with the power outlet and you've got another power outlet right up here as well I'll go ahead and swiftly move that back into place. Now back in the back here, you've actually got vents for your back passengers. And you've got two more USBs for connectivity for your back passengers. you have a new capless gas filler makes it real nice and easy when you're at the gas station being able to fill up your tank without worrying about the dangling of the cap and scratching up your side of your car things like that and with that there is a funnel back with the utility pieces for the changing of the tire uh, you actually that funnel if you happen to run out of gas which I'm hoping you don't anyway because you do have a range to be able to show you when you'll run out of gas 
But if you happen to, you can use that funnel to be able to fill up with one of your portable tanks as well. Now the back end has got this really great new styling. I'm really happy about it. Your backup camera is right here. So you can see where it is that we saw those viewpoints from. Now you've got two different ways, of, a few different ways of opening up the back hatch. There's a power back hatch. You've got a button on your key here that allows you to be able to press and hold it. It'll open it up for you. You also have just the buttons back behind the uh, handle here. A button to press, it'll open it up and close it. Um, and there's also a button back there as well to be able to lock the doors uh, if you wanted to lock them if you're behind the hatch as well. Now one thing that with the touring they just added, which is amazing and it's really great, if you happen to have a bunch of stuff in your hands, you can come up to the uh, touring CRV and it actually has a non-touch availability to open and close the back hatch. So I come up to the vehicle as long as the key fob is on me and I can take my leg, move it right underneath there and the power back hatch automatically opens. And you get this adjustable height power back hatch and this button right here allows you to be able to first off press it and it will close it or if I wanted to I can set the hatch where I want it to be press and hold it wait for the beep and now it will actually be it will come back up to that height that I've just set it at so if you have to be a little more short or you can't reach all the way up top the adjustable height allows so the next time it opens up, it's not going to go any further than where I just had it set. Isn't that amazing? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push this on up to where I want it to be. I'm going to set it to the height at its peak. And then, if you look inside this back hatch, you've got lots of really great space. Now what's great about this floor is it's two, got two heights to it. You can set it down a little bit lower give you a little more height or if you happen to need a flat floor when you fold these seats down because you got these great handles take a look at this handle here pull this handle automatically folds the seats down for you you've got a real nice flat floor with the second height on this as well now right here you can see the uh, cargo cover which is really good for hiding different things that you might have underneath. But this also comes out. It's removable. You don't have to have it in there. Go ahead and shut this. Take another look at this really nice back end. Plus with the touring, you get the chrome capped dual exhaust. Now right here on this mirror, as we look a little closer, you'll notice that you have the blind spot information system icon. This lights up if anybody happens to be in your blind spot over here and allows you to be able to see what's going on and always making sure you are on top of things when you're driving on the highway or in town, wherever it may be. So I'm really excited about this, the 2017 Honda CRV. Lots of really great features, tons of stuff that's going on. I'd love to be able to show you. If you could, when you get a chance, give me a call, 765-661-1308. Thanks.